G'day guys, you're back with Miracle Max. Today, I've got a really quick one for you. At the moment, I'm servicing a 2015 Volkswagen Polo and the windscreen washers aren't working. What's wrong? Let's have a look. that we're looking for today are hidden under the steering column there. You pull down just a panel, um, get that out the road, and your fuses are hidden in behind that. Now, obviously you turn on your ignition, probably get an annoying beep, excuse me for that, I can't get rid of it. So we would check all our fuses as per normal, and we would see that they're all okay. We come across here, we can see that that's lighting. I'll turn the lights off shortly. That one's lighting, that one's lighting. But one thing I did notice, I'll turn the lights off. So if you come across to this one here, you can see how bright that is. But you come across to this one over here and notice it's quite dull. It's easy to get caught because it's still glowing. So don't get caught by that and I'll show you what the problem is. Even though it appeared that we had uh, continuity through the fuse itself, if we have a look at it mechanically, you can see that it's broken. I'll check with a multimeter just to confirm that. But uh, clearly, um, we're getting back feed for some reason. So as you can see there, uh, the fuse has gotten open, uh, therefore it's blown. So just something to be aware of. Seeing isn't always believing. If I test another fuse with um, my incandescent test light, you can clearly see that it works fine. In fact, if I hook up my LED test light, you can see that that works fine as well. But if I put it onto the output side of that particular fuse, notice the incandescent light won't light. Yet if I put on my LED test light onto that output side of the fuse, I've got power back feeding, haven't I? So clearly the LED test light is not the best piece of equipment to use in this particular case. So even though that fuse tested okay with an LED test light, but not the incandescent test light, we've proved, haven't we, that it was blown. So now I'm going to replace this blown one with a new one. And let's see if we have washers at this point. So we pop him in there. Put on that annoying chime. Let's see if the washers work. Yes, we do. Even though the bonnet's up, we can clearly see water's coming out. Ah, interesting. So that was just a very quick one to show you the difference between testing fuses with an LED test light or an incandescent test light. You can see the differences there and you won't always find a blown fuse with an LED test light. Hope you enjoyed this quick one guys. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, give it a like, feel free to comment down below and don't forget to hit that long notification bell. Until next time, this is Miracle Max signing off. I'll catch you later.